hello girls gays and non-binary babes welcome or welcome back to my channel this week we are doing a very exciting video um, i'm gonna be talking all about my comfort reads My inspiration for this video was that now that it's getting snowy and the days are getting colder and the days are getting shorter, um, I think we all need to cuddle up with a really good book and just wrap up in a blanket, have a cup of tea, and read something cozy. So I just wanted to talk about my favorites. Some of these are pretty popular, so you'll probably have heard of them before, um, a couple aren't. But overall, these are my favorite comfort books to read in the cold season, and I am very excited to share them with you. So I hope you get something from this video, and if not, then I hope you at least have a good time. So yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first book I'm going to talk about is In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. This is part of the... Um, Wayward Children series. So that starts off with, hold on, Every Heart a Doorway, which you've probably heard about. So it's part of that series, but this one in particular can stand alone. And it is a retelling of the Goblin Market, or rather our main character, Lundy, is transported to this world and she is living in the Goblin Market. And it's very short, but it's so comforting and mesmerizing, and I absolutely adore this story. Honestly, all of the books in the Wayward Children series are really comforting, but this one in particular really grabbed my attention because the world that Lundy goes to is just so beautiful and incredible, and I absolutely love it. So I love reading this book. I've read it quite a few times, and it's probably my most read book from the Wayward Children series. So yeah, I know like every part of this book by heart and I will probably be rereading it again this year during the winter time. So yeah, if you haven't heard of the Wayward Children series, I definitely recommend that, but this one definitely in particular. The next book I'm going to talk about is one that everybody has heard of and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. If for some reason you don't know what this is about or you haven't heard of this, it's about a boy named Leslo Strange and he grows up in an orphanage and he eventually becomes like a librarian of sorts and he's just always got his nose stuck in a book. He's always dreaming about these different worlds and he's very taken with the concept of this world or city that has disappeared and nobody remembers it. And eventually he is taken under the wing of a group of people who are going to try and discover this lost city and it's just really beautiful. This story is so gorgeously written and I adore the story in and of itself. It's just so magical and I love magical worlds that can that almost feel real, that like you can almost touch and those are, I think are my favorite along with some really beautiful writing and this one definitely has that. Um, so yeah. Obviously, a lot of people have heard of this, so I won't linger long on it, but definitely one of my favorite comfort reads. Next up, I'm going to talk about a book that if you have been watching me for a while, you can probably anticipate this being on the list, um, and that is Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance by Ruth Emmy Lang. This is my favorite book of all time, and I first read it like four years ago, five years ago maybe, and I really, I fell in love with it from the first chapter. So this is the story of a boy, again, who grows up with wolves and it follows the story of his life told through the perspective of a lot of these, a lot of people that he ends up meeting in his life. And it's mostly told through the story of this girl who falls in love with him and it follows him growing up and the kind of subtle magic that he has. So this boy is really incredible and he has like nature-based magical abilities and he also ends up adopting this pig with a horn, like a unicorn horn, and this pig can control the weather. So yeah, this one's a little, a little bit absurd, but it's so fun and sweet and 
it just warms my heart every time I read it and if I'm ever in a bad mood I just pick this up and it feels like everything's okay again so yeah I definitely recommend this book it's so so underrated I I talk about it every chance I can because nobody else ever does um, but yeah, it's incredible and y'all need to pick it up. Next, I have a very recent release and a book that I think I finished like last week or something like that. Um, so I haven't necessarily reread it for the comfort yet, but I know I will be. Um, but that is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. So I know a lot of people have been talking about this. I think it's kind of popular on Book Talk. I'm not sure. Um, but this was gifted to me by Savvy from Savvy Reads Books, and I absolutely adored this book. I, like, genuinely, it was so cute and sweet and fun, and I just adored it. And I loved this kind of romance. I love a romance where the guy is just, like, an absolute simp for this girl. Like, those are my favorite. And I adored this. And I know for a fact that I will be rereading it often. Normally I don't read romance, so this is like way out of left field for me, but I don't know, something about this one just really spoke to me and I really liked it. By the way, if you didn't know, this is about a girl who has like never really fallen in love with anybody and she ends up fake dating um, one of the professors at her school, but he's not her, she's like, um, I think like a graduate student and he's like a professor, but he's not like in any way like correlated to her, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, they fake date and things happen from there. I'm sure you can guess, but yeah, I really love this one. All right, next up we have another booktube book community classic, I guess, and that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Is this one of the saddest books you'll ever read? Probably. But is this also very comforting? Yes. Um, I adore this book. I actually own two copies of it, which I don't normally do with books. Um, I do own the paperback and the hardcover. But I cannot put into words how much I love this story and these characters and I absolutely love rereading this. Um, this follows a traveling circus and two magicians who are raised from birth to eventually have to compete against each other and only one can survive um, but they end up falling in love with each other instead and it's really sweet and cute and I really love books that follow circuses because they always seem really whimsical and magical so I really love that part of it so it's got that lyrical writing with a gorgeous like gorgeous plot and also a really really good romance so this one has always been a 10 out of 10 for me and I I just I just adore this so yeah I, lots of people have read the night circus though so I can't really <laughs> talk much about it um but yeah if you haven't read it yet highly recommend. Next up we have a classic that I want to talk about and that is The Obvious Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I love this movie, I love this book, and it's definitely a comfort read and comfort watch for me. Um, this one, as you can see, is all tapped up and I just love the story. Uh, once again, I love a guy that is a simp for the girl. Um, Especially if he is like pretending to hate her or like trying to hate her in the beginning, you know? Um, so obviously I really love this one. I don't think I need to talk about what Pride and Prejudice is about, um, but if you didn't know, it is kind of a hate to love romance and it talks about pride and prejudice. And it's really good and I really like it and it's definitely one of my favorite classics, so yeah. And finally, we have another super popular one, unsurprisingly, and that is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I know everybody and their brother has read this book already, but I could not make this video without including this. Um, I've truly read nothing like this book in my entire life, and it is something really special, I think. Um, basically, 
if you didn't know, it follows a man who is a basically a CPS worker for magical kids and he ends up going to this house to check in on these kids and make sure that everything's being run smoothly and it's kind of like a found family story and it's so so gorgeous like I was crying just because it was so sweet and wholesome and like there's truly no other book like this that's just so wholesome there it feels like there's nothing bad about it and it's just so so good and if you have not read this I think winter time would be the perfect time to pick it up because it is just so comforting and I adore it and everybody should read it and I'm pretty sure at this point almost everybody has. So that is my list of books. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know some of your favorite comfort books down below. I am always intrigued to know. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!